This question, we're given parametric equations, which is an x and a y in terms of parameter t. And we need to turn it into Cartesian, which means eliminate the t variable. There's two ways to do it. You can uh, solve for t in one equation and plug it into the other, which is what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is called uh, elimination. Uh, or substitution. Actually, we're going to do substitution. So we're going to solve for t in one equation and then plug that into the other equation. Plug or substitute that into the other equation. All right, which one of these is easier to solve for t? Well, it looks like the first one is. However, if we start out with that, you can take a square root of both sides, but then we have square root x equals plus or minus t. And this plus or minus is gonna give us trouble. So let's not use this, let's use the other one. Y is eight plus two t. We're going to subtract 8 first, so y minus 8 equals 2t, and then divide by 2. And we can leave it in this form, uh, or we can write it as y over 2 minus 8 over 2 equals t. So it's y over 2 minus 4 equals t. And we're going to now sub in sub into the other equation, x equals t squared. So we're going to take this version of t and plug it in here. So we do need to use parentheses here. At this step, we have a Cartesian equation because we have one equation without any t's, only x's and y's. However, it's not in the form that they're asking for. So how do we get it into that form? It's gonna be a quadratic in the y variable. So we're gonna foil this right here. So we have y over two squared minus y over two times four minus y over two times four uh, plus negative four squared, and this all still equals x. So we're gonna square the y, square the two. Now these two in the middle here, uh, there's a few ways to handle this. Let's reduce each of them, so they're each gonna be two y minus two y, and negative four squared is 16. So I have y squared over four, minus 4y plus 16. And the format they want the answer in is what coefficient is in front of y squared, y, and the constant. So we could write this as 1 fourth y squared minus 4y plus 16. So a is that 1 quarter, b is negative 4, c is 16. Now we'll check our answers real quick. There's in decimal, but that's one quarter in decimal, negative four and 16 right there.